Greetings, brethren. I wanted to show you some heresies that are found in this uh, series, The Chosen. Now, um, before we get into this, I want to tell you the, the backstory of a little bit about the, the directors. I mean, the main director and writer, Dallas Jenkins, claims to be an evangelical. Um, he has other writers and directors who are Mormons, high-ranking Mormons. But he, in interviews, Dallas Jenkins says that the, the evangelical or Christian Jesus and the Mormon Jesus are the same Jesus. Now, um, he says, he assures people that uh, there's no um, Mormon influence in, in the Chosen. But um, the Mormon doctrine is that uh, just as Jesus' father was once a man, and he increased in knowledge and wisdom and righteousness, that Jesus is... Um, would make Jesus just a man who's obeying the Father unto righteousness to ascend to Godhood. And it really, this kind of doctrine re really shows, it, it does show in the Chosen, it, the way that the Chosen um, humanizes Jesus so much that they diminish Jesus' deity. I mean, he tells Jenkins, oh, the, there's no influence, it doesn't... Uh, I'm sure you that it does, this doctrine did not leak into the show, um, stuff like that, but it really shows the way these heresies pop up, the way Jesus, they put words in Jesus' mouth that, that portrays them in a different light, that humanizes them, then diminishes divinity. So let's get to it. Um, okay. Salt preserves from corruption. So, right here, salt preserves from. He's uh, preparing a sermon. Corruption. If it loses its saltiness, it doesn't do what it it is. No. no. If salt has lost its flavor. Salty taste. It's Rabbi. I'm I'm sorry. So you see that he's struggling to get to find the words, put together the words together. It's not uh, that we don't allow him to be human; that uh, he's um, bearing, but it's not like he does not know the words that he should say. You know, they can't, he's struggling to know what. He's not, the words that that he preached, it, it didn't, it's not like how we, how uh, humans prepare sermons. It's not like, well, they're, they're not in the same way that they're inspired. Jesus, being God, he would know the words. If salt has lost its flavor, its, it's salty taste, it's... Rabbi, I'm, I'm sorry. So, Jesus being God, he's a creator. He would know these things being God. John 1, 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And he, we beheld his glory and the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full, he is full of grace and truth. He's full of truth. So how can uh, him being full of truth struggling to know what the truth is? How to put these words together that would convey it? How how would how is he not uh, knowing what to say here? It was full of truth. Because what what does what did Jesus come to do? John 1 18, no man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, 
he hath declared him. His job is to declare the Father. It is the Father he draws his his uh, words from the Father, being a human. Yes, he he had human the way he thought he had, he had human um, frailties. But it's not like he did not have the knowledge or what have you. He, he's speaking the words of God. He's getting whatever he sees the Father does, he does also. His job was to declare the father, to declare the father, and um, whatever God uh, the Father sent him to say, His command and say, that's what he should speak. That's what he's speaking, the words of the Father. John twelve forty nine fifty. For I have not spoken of myself, not of myself. You see him. I I'm trying to figure out these words, how to put them together. I didn't speak of myself, but the Father which sent me, he had gave me commandment, what I should say. So he draws what he should say from the Father. And what should I speak? I don't know what to speak. Only my Father has commanded me what I should speak. Come on, that's the heresy. Uh, humanizing Jesus so far, I don't know what the words of God is. You know, he's only full of truth, full of it. He is truth incarnate. I don't know how to put it together. I'm struggling to figure out what these words are. <laughs> the Father sent me to give me commandment. What should I say? What I should say and what should I speak? God gave me, commanded me what I should speak. I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. The Father is saying the words that he should speak. How can you tell that, uh, make Jesus so human that he can't figure out the words of God? That's ridiculous. Heresy. Because. Jesus knows all things being God. He's omnipotent, all-powerful, um, omniscient, all-knowing. He's all-knowing. You can't just uh, humanize Jesus so far that it diminishes his divinity because he knows all things. As uh, Peter said, John 21, verse 12, uh, 17, and he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. He knoweth all things, only omniscience. He knows all things. Thou knowest I love thee. Jesus said unto him, be my sheep. Thou knowest all things. How can you? I don't know the word of God. Really? That's heresy. I, I'm trying to figure out what to say here. I don't know the words of the Father. He could tell me nothing except that I am standing on holy ground. Okay, this is the this is where um he's talking to Nicodemus and Nicodemus goes down the to bow to him and Jesus says you don't have to do that why are you doing this so he's stopping him from worshiping bowing down to him he never did that I mean nothing except that I am standing on holy
one thing I I'm kind of being a stickler about who often says, I hope that you do this. He never says, I hope, but he, he says, you'll do this. I know that you'll do this, and I know. So you see, I hope that you do this. Nicodemus. Is the sun, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. So, <laughs> he's stopping him from bowing down and worshiping, although it doesn't say that Nicodemus did that. But uh, he's never stopped anyone from bowing down and worship him. Never did that. Come on. If, if there was an instance, we would give give wiggle room to these to these false doctrines that the like like the Muslim doctrine, you know. Question: Where where in the Bible does it ever say that Jesus says, "I am God, worship me." And then, then you have the chosen, where Jesus says not to work, stop doing that. So you're saying, well, he's not God; he's not worthy of worship. Only God is worthy of worship. And Jesus says, the chosen Jesus says, was saying, you don't have to do that. Why are you doing this? Stopping him from worshiping. So you're making him not God because only God is worthy of worship. So Jesus, nowhere it says that Jesus stopped anybody from bowing down and worshiping him. John 20, verses 27-29, Then saith to Thomas, Reaches hither my finger, thy finger, and behold my hands. Reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. Be not faithless, but, by, but believing. And Thomas answered and said, My Lord, and my God, see all caps calling him um, in English Jehovah of the Old Testament. My Lord and my God, Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. So he's saying he's believing that he is God. No, it doesn't say that you stopped him. He answered a positive. He didn't say, "Well, I, I'm don't don't worship. Uh, you, you don't have to say that <clears throat> I'm not God or something like that." No, he says, "Because you have seen me, you have believed. You have believed that I'm your Lord and your God. Bless her that that have not seen yet believed." Who are you going to believe the chosen and full, these these heresies? Stopping him from work? You don't have to do that. I'm only God. You don't have to bow down to me. You don't have to worship me. Come on. Wake up. But to preach the good news of the kingdom of heaven. I shouldn't have waited. So this clip is about uh, this having Jesus says, I'm a way to access the kingdom of God instead of I am the way. A way could open up to many ways. They have Jesus saying that he's not the only way. I'm a way to, I make a way to access the kingdom of God, a way. I'm not the way to the Father. I'm a way. Preach the good news of the kingdom of heaven. A kingdom that is not of this world. A kingdom that is coming soon. Or yes, sorrow and sighing will flee away. 
I make a way for people to access that kingdom. Heresy. Yes, it, it, you can, in layman terms, he makes a way to the kingdom of God, but he makes the way. He makes the way. He is the way. He's the way to the Father. By that, that heresy, you know, I'm not just one way to, to the kingdom of God, or I, I'm not just merely... Uh, the guide to, to to get into the kingdom. I'm the way. Follow me. I'm the only way to the Father. Who's going to believe this heresy that he's only one of the many ways to the kingdom of God? Or is he the only way? <laughs> Wake up, people. John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth. And the life, no man, no man, no man comes to the Father. No man comes to the Father, but by me, but by me. So there's no other way. It's not just one of many, but the only way. Come on. Because he is the only one and the only name that we are saved by. There's, there's no other person, no other way that we may be saved. He is the only one that has salvation. There's only He's the only name that we must place our trust in to get salvation. There's no other name under heaven that was given to believe in. To place your trust in to be saved. John 4 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. He is not just a one way of one way of many to get the kingdom of God. There's no other. There's no other. You don't find no salvation any other than Jesus. For there is none other name. None other name. He is the only name under heaven among that was given among men where we must be saved. You will not find salvation in any other, no other than Jesus. Place your trust in Jesus alone. He is alone. You'll find salvation in him alone, alone. No, none other name, none, no, none. He's not a way, but the way, the only way. There's no other name that you place your trust in. None other. But the chosen just says he's he makes a way to access the kingdom. A way. So in this clip. I, I I I get it. He, he makes a joke, um, about Andrew's feet that it's so stinky that he can't do nothing about it. But he says even some things I can't not. There's some things that I cannot even do. Not even I can do everything. Yes, you can. You're God. Not even Jesus can do everything. <laughs> Heresy. Blasphemy. He's God. He can do everything. That's blasph blasphemy. Jesus can't do everything? Really? Fish. Wine. What will be next? Any suggestions? Anything. And everything. Let's do this. I'll go with you to the ends of the earth. I hope so, Simon. I... See, there we go. I hope so. This high hope, this kind of humanizing, like, there, there's some level of doubt. I, I know it's just a figure of speech, like, uh, I hope so. Like, there's a hidden, you can say that, that... That like he's not revealing everything. I sure hope so. 
it's like he's not revealing it to him. But that, that's still wrong. That's still heresy. Like, I hope so. Because he says he knows. He will deny me three times before the cock crows. He doesn't say, I hope you don't do this. I know that you're going to deny me three times. And everything. Let's do this. I'll go with you to the ends of the earth. I hope so, Simon. But I seem to remember there was a problem. Something about Andrew's feet. So you help him? Something even I cannot do. So some things that I can't even do. Now it's so stinky I can't do nothing about it. Yeah, it was a joke. I get it. And he's like, <laughs> but the words, just bad words, bad word choice. Some things I can't even do. Being God, <laughs> he's all powerful. Do anything. Jesus was the creator. John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was, and the Word was God. He was with God the Father, and was God Jehovah, not the Father. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Who? The Word. The Word made all things. All things were by made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made, his creator. Colossians 1, 16 and 17. For by him were all things created. All things were created by him, that in heaven and in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. And it, he is before all things, he's preeminent. By him, all things consist. All things hold together by the word of his power. All powerful. Oh, I can't do some things. <laughs> Blast me. Being God, he's omniscient. You know, being God, he knows. The hearts of men. John 9 4. He know, knew the thoughts of these people. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, where, and said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? Something that only God can do. Only God can know your hearts. And they humanize them. Oh, I can't, I don't even, I can't. Some things I can't even do. Only God can do these things. Only God can know your hearts. Acts 15, 8. And God, which knoweth the hearts, beareth them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even he, as he did unto us. As in the, David said that even the words before I speak, thou knowest it. That, that even the words that leave, before it leaves my tongue, thou knowest it. Only God can know the hearts. But he knew, Jesus knew what the, the, the evil that they were thinking in the hearts. Proving that he's God. If he's omniscient, he can do all things. And Jesus did, did know the hearts, he didn't know he's omniscient. And I don't know, he's, he can see he's all-powerful. He can see uh, probably omnipresent. I'm not saying probably, but I'm saying you can draw that. That at least he's omniscient. He's omnipresent because he saw it. Not just he knows it, but he saw it. Jesus, John 1, 47, 48. Jesus, Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and saith unto him, Behold, an Israel indeed whom is no guile. It's reported that he 
the, uh, the chosen depicts Nathaniel uh, uh, being drunk and stuff, but um, he says, the scripture says, there is light indeed in whom is no guile, and in him there is no guile. Nathaniel saith unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered said to him, Before that Philip called thee, he went, Philip went to call him, and he says, What is this? Anything good come out of um, Nazareth? And before he called thee, when you was under a fig tree, I saw thee. He saw him. Well, he can't do all things. He just saw what he was doing. He was sitting on a fig tree. He was in the same place. Philip had to go somewhere else. And as he was coming, Jesus said to him, Behold, Israel indeed is new, in whom is no guile. So, it is the chosen safe to watch. Good question. Is it safe to watch? No, it's not safe. Definitely not safe. Because even even if you are um, well versed in in the Bible, watching a movie gets you carried up in the moment, and it tugs on the, the your hearts, and you get emotionally involved, and you don't catch these things. And then when you watch it, it's in your subconscious. So it leads you astray. I mean, even if if you knew, you might catch it if you knew the scriptures. Might. But it's still not safe because, you know, you won't, not, you won't catch it. Well, what's wrong here? I, I don't know. I just like it. And then, then I mean, even even I, I mean, I had, I caught some things, but I watched it, but not until, you know, there was something that was the last straw, and uh, I went back and found all these things. It was heresy and blas blasphemy. It's not good. Not good. So you see, Dallas Jenkins was like, it didn't creep in. I didn't let it. <laughs> well, the people that you surround yourself with influence you. And subconsciously, without you knowing, you let it, let it um, creep into the production. You had Jesus stopping Nicodemus from the bound and worshiping him. You had him, um, um, you know, let me remember. He had him struggling to put together a sermon, which the words he speaks, the Father commands him to speak. Um, yeah. As I'm saying that he makes a way to access access the kingdom of God, opening up to universalism, that there's many paths to 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 heaven. I don't think necessarily the Christian heaven. And um, saying that not even Jesus can do everything. Being God, God can't do everything. <laughs> Blasphemy. So it's not safe. Sorry to break it to you. I mean, I was, uh, I kind of held back my emotions, but I did let it can go a little bit. So hopefully. You'll catch and rise up to um, these things. We'll see you next time. Thank you and take care.